So today, one of the things I'm working on is our value proposition. Um, this is very important. And just like last week, if you watched, I shared uh, Tam Sam Sam uh, and what that was. Like I'm telling you, like if you if you really watch this stuff, if you really watch what I do, like I'm really sharing me actually building this thing, learning at the same time as I'm trying to build a startup. And um, no matter what, even with like that uh, Sam, I mean Tam Sam Sam thing, like even that methodology, that methodology and actually breaking down is just not for startups. That's actually for any business, right? That can that 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 can be utilized for. And today, like what we're going to break down is um, the value proposition. So basically, what I'm going to do is this. Is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to screen. I'm going to just going to screen record this real fast, so you can see. So as I'm talking. I can put this into the uh, I can put this into the episode real fast. Hold on a second. Because again, like at the same time that I'm building this company, I'm learning at the same time. So I want to be thorough, and I want to build the best company. So it's nothing that I'm not willing to learn. I look at myself as I'm an amateur. That's how I look at myself as, basically. I'm an amateur entrepreneur trying to help amateur athletes, okay? Okay, so here's a slide for the value proposition. It says, describe the value proposition, set of de uh, desirable outcomes that you are causing for the customer to have. Bullet point four, target customer, your product provides list desirable outcomes at a price reference. If your product is at slash near new to world status, you may have to describe the value proposition for the category. So basically what that means is if your product is new to the world, uh, there's so many things, I mean, yeah, it's a lot of things that's new to the world, but it's, all dreams is not new to the world. We're better, faster, and, and better package, right? We take Huddle, Instagram, GoFundMe, put it all in one, right? Um, and like the cloud, you know? So we put all of that in one so it's easier for athletes to do this, right? So that's our value proposition. Um, so it says, uh, you may have to describe the value proposition for the category if it's new to the world, um, as well as for your specific product. Product equals goods or services. We don't have a product, we have a service, okay? We have a service. So what I wanna do is go back into a couple of these things that, um, that was given to me This is very, this is like, this is very, very important as far as like, like any business, you, you have to have a value proposition. And not only, not only this stuff is for you to go out and to get investors, you should know this inside of your business alone. Like what is your value proposition to your customers? You understand? Like it's just not for, hey, I'm trying to raise, a, raise money these are things you need to know like the back of your hand. You need to know these things when you're even talking to customers. What's your value proposition? That needs to be able to spit out like that, right? For, so for this right here, the value proposition, value proposition statement. For blank, target customer, right? So for amateur athletes, right? Who need storage, for all of their videos, right? Who need a way to share their story, build community, and also earn money from that community, financial support, right? That's what my customers need, the amateur athletes, that's what they need. Our service is all in one, 
provides storage for all your videos in one dedicated place for athletes only, right? Um, we provide a way for you to build a community and actually earn money for your dream through the support from your, from your community, okay? Now, okay, so that's like the, okay, so actually I went a little bit over on that one because our service, <laughs> our service, All Dreams platform will provide what I just said. Storage for all of your sports journey in one place, dedicated for athletes, right? One. Two, gives you the ability to build a community. Three, gives you the ability to earn financial support for your dream from that community, okay? That's what our service provides, okay? Unlike the competition, Huddle, Instagram, the cloud, GoFundMe. Our service is better, faster, and better packaged because it's all in one place and it's also dedicated for athletes, okay? That's, you know, so that's what we're, you know, so that's our, you know, so we would say our platform, our service, and reason to believe we are better, faster, I wouldn't say cheaper, but we are cheaper, but we also are better packaged, okay? That's our value proposition. And here is another, um, slide right here, which shows like, okay, so you have, you have your product or service, right? But then you have your pain, relievers okay so a pain reliever is having an athlete that has their complete sports journey on facebook instagram on their camera roll that's a pain point for our athletes that's one of our value propositions okay where all of their sports journey is in one dedicated place okay and we haven't even talked about that they can sell products or anything like that. That's just, I'm just giving one example of a pain reliever. Having to have your highlights, your training, your, um, your, your story in all of these different places, okay? Whether it's Instagram, Facebook, you have one dedicated place for your sports journey, which is our platform, our service, okay? Um, now, what's one of the gains when you have your, all your videos in one place, you actually build a community, people that want to follow that journey, right? That's one of the gains, right? And then also when you build that community, that community is watching your journey, boom, they want to uh, support you financially to help you get to your dream, okay? So that's part of the, the value proposition canvas where you know you like you've been I can point out the pains but then also the gains for my customers okay um, yeah so that's a value proposition and like I said like these are things that any business that you're doing not just a startup this is something that you should be doing as well okay so I okay I'm going to put this on the screen so you can actually see while I'm describing this or whatever. And um, yeah, that's so that's what we're, you know, I'm studying today and putting together my value proposition just so I can spit it out, I know it. What is the value for my customers? What, you know, what's their pain point? How do they gain? And that's what I'm putting together today. So I hope you learned something with that short thing, but that's called a value proposition. So you should be doing it in your business.